Attention all boomerites. Listen, I did it. There's a Muppet on the loose. Please use extreme caution when watching this video. Hello, boys and girls. It is time for some paper to peep. That is mother peeping and right. All right, last episode from season seven, I believe. We did seasonal beatings, yes. So this is New Year's Eve. So this is the last episode from season seven. Uh, I I can't remember how many peep show season of peep show there are. Aren't there like nine, something like that? I don't know. Somebody can remind me. But um, New Year's last one was Christmas, where Mark stood up to his father. We we see why uh, Mark is Mark now. So. But anyway, like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. If this makes YouTube, uh, YouTube's been it, it's been such a pain these past two months getting episodes up. They keep me getting blocked, but I'm do, I'm doing the best I can. So if you don't see this on YouTube, hello Patreon for those of you who made it here. Um, but here we go, New Year's Eve. Let's get into one of the best shows I've ever seen in my life. Nothing from Dobby since Christmas. I want to call again, but when I leave long messages, I have this nagging sense that I'll end up hearing them played back to me in a court of law. I don't stress it, man. We're gonna have New Year's dude, darty style. Remember that time we were coming back from Cinderella's and Pedge put his pants on the taxi driver's head and he couldn't see a thing? Yeah, that would have been more <sighs> hilarious had I not been literally weeping with fear. Oh, come on, man. Shake your booty. Tonight, even Paxman's out, hoovering up lines of crank off Krishna Guru Murthy. Tonight's the big one. Jeremy, all rational people agree. It's a truth self-evident that it's impossible to have a good time on New Year's. Year's Eve, the pressure's too immense. All I want to do is go to Johnson's, find Dobby, and sort everything out. OK, we'll go to Johnson's as a stomach liner, a seat warmer, but then I'm taking you on a punani hunt. No, James. Come on, man. Dobby's gone. Zara's gone. Tonight, it's not about the bitches, it's all about the hitches. The hitches? You think we're Peter and Christopher Hitchens on a big night out? And I suppose I have to be Peter. <laughs> Zara. I was in the I actually area. know who those two are. So might pop by. Yeah? That's the kind of Sorry. bullshit I come up with. Is she doing a me? She still likes me. Or does she? I need evidence. I need confirmation. Quick, OK. Here goes. <laughs> Cheers. Sorry, that was probably totally inappropriate. It's just, you know, sometimes the scent of a woman. OK, the truth is, I came here to tell you that Ben and me, we're finished. I, I found out he slept with someone else. God. Who would have sex with Ben? Apart from you, obviously. He said he only did it because he was missing me so much. But I'd only gone out <laughs> yeah! to film. God damn it. Oh, it's like the first click on the fucking thing never works anymore. Um, oh. Ben is a very... I mean, I don't know. Maybe the ladies see something in Ben. Who knows? I don't know what it is, but I'm with Jeremy on this one. He slept with someone else. God. Who would have sex with Ben? Apart from you, obviously. He said he only did it because he was missing me so much, but I'd only gone out to see a film. Jesus. I know. So I started thinking, we really had something, you and me. We're the same, a bit. Half a tub of cookie dough. And two films by Francois Truffaut. I will never know what that means. So I was wondering, and this is completely crazy, but what would you think about moving in with me? Okay, wow. Um, wow. Don't say yes too quick. Don't say yes too quick. Yes! Because I really, really like you, Jez. And Ben's going to stop paying my rent. And I think we just click. And we could do a direct debit or whatever. Sure. I mean, Ben will definitely fire me, but I'll just get another job. I could easily start my own music merchandise website. I mean, I'm going to get a laptop, so, uh, yeah, sorted. I'm moving in. I'm going to be the boyfriend who pays rent. I'm her rent boy, but not sucking cock in a phone box, eating pussy on a tumble dryer. <laughs> Fuck. Fancy dress. It's oh, like look at this. For people with no sense of humour. Hello? Oh, hi, Ben. So, um, <clears throat> what is he listen, wearing? Listen, you know how women, when they live together, they're... Is this Halloween or New Year's? Do you guys dress up over there for New Year's? As, like, doctors and whatever 
Mark's outfit is and the and the wigged character behind the doctor. Articles start arriving at the same time and how dogs come to look like their owners. Well, I really wouldn't want that to happen to us. So it actually it actually looks like I'm going to be moving out. Are you has Superhands been talking about his kibbutz idea again? Because I can assure you the state of Israel will not allow a kibbutz for hotties. No, Zara's split up with Ben and she's asked me to move in with her. Oh, right. Wow. This is very abrupt. Might have been nice to not take me to this big Eddie house and buy me a carbonara, but at least, you know. Dude, man, it's no biggie, you and me. You know, it was a phase. Bada bing, bada bye. Bada bing, bada bye. All things pass, you know. We're born, we live, we die. Plus, Zara's getting a 3D TV, so it all makes perfect sense if you think about it. Right, good. <clears throat> Congratulations. Johnson. There he is! Yes! Yes! I fucking love this guy. Uh, this is one of my favorite characters ever in any of the reactions that I've done to shows. Alan Johnson. Wish I'd Wait, say that again. So it all makes perfect sense if you think about it. Right, good. <clears throat> Congratulations. Johnson. Alan Johnson. Wish I'd come as Bond instead of a stupid fisherman from not even a film. See, look, so does that mean you guys dress up for New Year's? That's, I mean, that's definitely different. Because we don't do that. We have New Year's parties, but we basically just get drunk and have a good time. You know, New Year's was never really my, uh, my favorite holiday. But the dressing up thing is either characters or from... You know, movies or television shows or just dressing up as zombies or whatever the fuck. That, we reserve that for Halloween. So this is definitely different. But I could get behind it. Um, it, it. Actually, this would probably make me like New Year's more, honestly. So it's not, I, it sounds like I'm complaining. I'm not. It's just, it, it's definitely different. And I'm, and I'm surprised I've never heard of it. You know, you guys kept this one under the radar and away from my attention for a while. So shame on you. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, let me know if that's what you guys do. Wetsuit. The full bond. I'm scuba diving again. Thank you, direct marketing. What have you come as? <laughs> Techno hippie street bum? I'm not actually wearing a costume, Alan, so the joke's on you. Yes, I knew that, so the joke's on you. Well, I didn't realize you knew that, so it can't have been a very good joke. Happy New Year. So, listen, really weird one. Apparently, a guy from Time Out magazine turned up at Ben's party, and Ben says he wants to talk to me about publishing a booklet on my blog posts. Your alphabetical lists of French films? He thinks they're seminal. Mm-hmm. Don't you think there's a chance that Ben might be trying to reel you in? I'm not saying you're a fish. Don't you think they're good lists? <laughs> oh, no, they're great lists. They're long lists. <laughs> I'm not Maybe they don't want fish. to publish them. Exactly. It's too big to miss. See you later, housemate. Uh, day one and the housemate gets dicked over. So, pretty good numbers. Nailed a lot of the key players. Liam Kendrick in the house! Hey! So, you, you still pissed off with Big Sue's? What? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a mood change! <laughs> love him man oh i still can't believe that this is the guy from the beach the movie the beach um with leonardo dicaprio that's a great fucking movie i love that movie but uh the the black guy who welcomes them in and is clapping at the at, when they dive off of the uh cliff waterfall thing whatever it was i still can't believe that's him This guy's brilliant. I love him. They even be. What a stupid thing to say, Mark. The key players? Liam Kendrick in the house! Hey! So, you, you still pissed off with Big Sue's? What? Fuck you. <laughs> Why would I even be? What a stupid thing to say, Mark. Sorry. If poor little bitch girl wants to have a spoiler party all over my housewarming, why would I even give a shit? Huh? Oh! Why? I, I don't know. Maybe. Damn! So, let's uh, grab you a cool can of crony and a bag of nuts. Or an ice-cold, long-necked bud. Hubba bubba. Alan, are you, are you still... Oh, yeah. Apple ties. Five years, clean and serene. 
Hey, just because you're looking at some titties doesn't mean you have to suck on the nip nips, right? Thanks, Alan. I'll get stuck into that later. Oh, come on, Mark. Becks are simple Becks. Up on the South Downs, have a sack full of Becks. That's the dream, ain't it? I want to keep a clear head for when I talk to Dobby. Do you think she might be here soon? Or... I don't know, Mark. We've been over this. She might pop in. Mmm, cold white wine. Ain't that fine. Hmm. He's conned me to his party. Because it's hard to take a legal position on might pop in. Anyone might pop in. Jeffrey Archer, Hugo Chavez, Skinner oh, no. and Badil. Aye, aye, cut him, bird's eye! <laughs> <laughs> so what have you caught, then? Some mackerel, sexual herpes from bumming a tramp? <laughs> Your insults are absorbed by the theoretical levity of the costume. So, come on, then, is it true, Mark, that you've had your dick in the dob? Oh, uh, you might say that, but but I couldn't possibly comment. What? Have you, Mark, had your dick in the dob? Uh, OK, yes, 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 I've... I've had my dick in the dob. Uh, so what's, what's an average night in? You, you sit around reading Superman comics? <laughs> Fuck that! Oh, these guys are evil! Oh, my God, they... they see her behind him and are like, yeah, keep keep it going. Describe this dick in the dub thing. Holy shit. Hey Mark had your dick in the dub. Uh, okay, yes, 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 I've I've had my dick in the dub. And uh, so what, what's, what's an average night in? You, you sit around reading Superman comics, sucking each other's cock. <laughs> <laughs> Just grin and take it. I guess. She's a freak, isn't she? Uh, 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 what kind of freak? Is she a, a manimal or a best-selling flanimal, would you say? Does he want an answer? I, I guess she's more of a manimal than, than a flanimal. Do you hear that, Dobbs? I'm a manimal. I don't even know what a manimal is. He's a shape-shifting crime fighter, Mark. You've had your dick in the dog. Fucking hell. <laughs> Dobby! Wait! Where are you going? I don't know, maybe Superhands is? Somewhere where people won't slag me off behind my back? It was just party chat. I was only being horrible about you to ease things along. You're such a dick. Look, I, I owe you a massive apology for, for just now and... Is that my baby? <laughs> why, why, is it, why is it in the middle of the floor? And why does he not know it's his baby? this fucking show sometimes man oh 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 my god we're not even fucking one third of the way through mm. oh just breathe just breathe boomer okay continue <laughs> Is that my baby? It ease things along. You're such a dick. Look, I, I owe you a massive apology for, for just now and... Is that my baby? And, and for, for Christmas and... Mark, <coughs> are you getting bored of your own apology? I, I, I'm sorry, and... Uh, it bloody is my baby, is it? And what? Sorry, it's just that I recognise... See you around, dickwad. No, D Dobbs, I... My... Baby, is, is that mad? Has he followed me here in a desperate plea for attention? Or am I manhandling a so random humanoid? Here. Mark, is he am all right? Am I manhandling a what? Is that mad? See? Has he followed me here in a desperate plea for attention? Or am I manhandling a random humanoid? Mark, is he all right? He fell out of his basket. I, I, I rescued him. From the soft carpet where he was asleep. What? What, what if someone with clogs on had come in out of their face and marched around the room like a horse? Or, you know, anything. He was sleeping, Mark. I had to go upstairs and talk to my brother. He's actually having a really hard time. He even posted some pictures of his scrotum on Facebook, so... I'm just saying that the situation looks perilous. Uh-huh. Great. Dobby's gone, and I'm left with my ex, who despises me, and my son, who probably thinks Jeff's his dad, while I'm just some mad landlocked fisherman. Very party. I, the, the, I totally forgot that her and Jeff got back together. The super hands party. Only if Dobby's here. Let the Punani hunt commence. The hunt for Punani. Thought you were moving in with Zara. Exactly. I've made a firm commitment. We're practically getting married. So this is basically my stag do. Free pass. If Dobby's here, I need to make it up with a gesture. Something extraordinary. I could offer to marry her. Oh, always the marrying with you, isn't it? 
Who thinks they're marrying with you? Yes, man. Wow, it is rocking out. You okay, dude? Yeah. Yeah, it's just in there. Fuck, man. Tasty. Why would people want to do that shit? Why even go there? You told me it was going to be a chilled one, Jeremy. You assured me that he'd made a huge lemon meringue pie. I don't know what to think. I have seen through the eye of the needle. I've seen it. I've finally bloody seen it. I've pulled open the hurt locker and had a big old rummage round. Let's go in. Didn't you hear what he just said? It sounds fun. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it sounds terrifying. Whatever. Let's get in there. It's the heart of darkness, Jez. It's the fucking dirt. I don't want to go into the heart of darkness. Oh, come on, dude. Sometimes you've got to flip the switch. Lift go the in there. Look what's underneath, because it's not always wood lice. Look, if that party is too much for Hans, the, excuse me, Hans, the crack-addled maniac, I'm pretty confident it'll be too much for me. <sighs> Hans is, is Dobby in there, do you know? She swung by, but she couldn't hack the hype. I think she pissed off the big Susers. Bloody hell. I'm going to write this place off. Send someone in there tomorrow with some disinfectant and a flamethrower. I got my sleeping bag. I don't want to know. <laughs> Mark's right, though. If Super Hands is afraid and can't handle it in there, then I'm far sure as hell I'm afraid. Crack. How was it? Fine, let's go. What? Look, I don't want to talk about it, all right? I just want a, a cup of tea and some soda bread and sit down somewhere quiet. What, what's going on in there? He was only in there five seconds. What is going on in there? Are they doing it? Yes, Mark. That's right. They're doing it. You really have no imagination whatsoever, do you? Well, what are they doing then? Dude, don't worry about them, because they sure as hell aren't worrying about you. Let's just go, Hans. Yep. Fuck yeah. Let's go. Big Susie's? I don't mind where, as long as it's safe. I just want to be in a controlled environment. Have a Coke and a tuna sandwich, just mong out to some snow patrol. Great. Super Hans in the sidecar. Who's the chick? There's no chick, man. That's the love of my life. Wow. And what does she... I don't know much about her. She don't speak English. We speak the language of love. And a tiny little bit of German. Right. I tell you, man. She is the one. I'll take a bullet for her. I'll take a bullet out the Aris for her. Oh, that's nice. I'll take a fucking truncheon up the Aris for this one. Or an umbrella. I would open an umbrella up inside my Aris for this one. <laughs> and we, we get the message. There's probably no need to list all the things you put up your bottom for your girlfriend. Uh, I'm kind of just... I'm disappointed we didn't get to see what was in that room. I at least wanted to take a peek in there to see what the fuck was going on. Because they made it seem like it was this. It was the... Uh, the floor right below hell, you know what I mean? Can't believe he's actually moving out. I'm going to be an unemployed single mother stuck in the flat eating Frosties from a salad bowl until I die from loneliness and two weeks later they break down the door to find Ian sucking on my cold, dead teats. Hey, Mark. I think Superhands' girlfriend fancies me. Why? Because you've got your Poonani jeans on. In the fried chicken place, she bit off half a chicken drummer and then gave the rest to me. Right. So? The symbolism? The drummer's my dick. Look, just because for some... God. Okay, so that water's gone. Give me the rest of this one. Oh my God, I can't fucking breathe sometimes. The reason you associate a chicken drumstick with your penis doesn't mean that anyone was flirting with you. She definitely was. She gave you some food. When you sneak chunks of my Cathedral City cheddar, is that you taking slices off my dick? <laughs> so, listen. I'm going to ask Dobby to move in with me. I'm sorry? Oh, no. I've been thinking, and, and I need to make the gesture, and, you know, maybe this is the kick up the arse we both need. I could turn your room into an office, finally nail business secrets of the pharaohs. Right? Okay, man, yeah, good on you, because, um, yeah, I mean, obviously we've always been amazing mates, but also a bit like lead weights dragging each other down. Exactly. Living together, it, it's been like eating a vast portion of chips. Very comforting, but also there's this lurking sense you're killing yourself. Right? Too right. We're moving on. Oh, no. 
Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't think I've Dobby ever seen Mark can watch the History Channel before. with him and pretend to know the difference between all the old-time black and white dudes. Good luck, Zara. Hope you know how to add salt to your dishwasher because Jeremy will never, ever, ever be helping you. What should I do if Dobby says no about moving in? Don't take no for an answer, dude. You want the knack, Mark? With women? Well, yes, I, I suppose I do. Want the knack? Get smack. Smack? Get smacked out of it, then you get the ladies. Really? Maybe. Right, I'm, I'm not sure I... Yeah, I'm, I just love smack. <laughs> Probably not the right man to ask. Anyway, I'm out the game now. <laughs> when I first set eyes on this one, it was like my first joint. Like my first Bowie track. Like my first Ruth Rendell. I just knew. We both did. Didn't we sweat, huh? Yeah. Yep, she fancies me. I knew it. Huh. He thinks he's Romeo. He's not. He's an armrest. Maybe she does. Who knows? Yoko's hot for me. That was a balancing hand, not an erotic hand. I've pulled the balancing hand a million times. She could have put that hand anywhere, and yet it ends up inches from my dirty Harry. Coincidence? Yes. If we're going to name his cock after a Clint Eastwood film, it's The Unforgiven. I do feel a bit weird about this. <laughs> that was a good. That was a good line. That was a good line. One of the best of the uh, thinking lines. Big Sue has invited everyone except us. You know why? It's because I sent her those objects. It's fine, Jeremy. If everyone sends oh, an shit. ex the ob object, it's a natural part of breaking up. Mark! Big Sue's! And a woman. You're all here. Gosh, have you come straight from the harbour? It's fancy dress. How fancy. And, Jeremy, do you want to pick up any of those plasticine models you sent of you and I doing such and such? Yeah, sorry about that, Suze. I was feeling very, um... Uh... Look, if you like, we can all just... No, no. You must come in for a bit. Oh, look, you've brought us some... Oh, almost champagne. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll put it there, and if for any reason we don't get around to drinking it tonight, you can take it back with you. Yes? Right, Suze, I need a smoke out. Want to watch me roll up a foreskin? I'll tell you where you might like it, Hans. Out in the garden. <laughs> Suze, do you know, is Dobby here? Hmm, not sure. There are an awful lot of what I'm sure you won't mind me calling your types here, so... But listen, since you've both been so wonderfully clever and made it here without an invitation card or anything, would you mind being total stars and helping out? Is that right? So, for you and... Yes. And listen, once you've done a couple of rounds, please feel free to sit down and have a very quick drink. OK, thanks. OK, Dobby, I'm going to find you and I'm going to feed you. I was never any good as Susie's boyfriend. I should have been her butler all along. Are you guys the turds in the punch bowl? I'm sorry? I heard a couple of wetbacks had snuck in. Yeah, that's probably us. Hello, she's looking at me. Maybe I should... Why not? Zara hasn't phoned, texted, or emailed for two hours. She's basically instructing me to have sex with a random woman. Where's Dobby? You aren't Dobby. You aren't Dobby. Even you aren't Dobby. I thought I bagged the train spotter in the red coat with the nice norks. Dobby! <laughs> she called me a trouser head and fucked off to some amazing party. Hello? A lead? What the Crofton Road do? A few of Alan's hangers-on have gone to that. Good riddance. Of course, Gerard's party. I've tracked her down like Bin Laden in his cave. Now I can move in for the grisly kill. OK, let's crank up the flirtathon using a language I think she'll understand. Yoko oh no, or Yoko oh yes. Mm hmm. Oh. <laughs> oh. It might, it might be. Uh... With Big Sue's, it might be because I haven't seen her on the show in so long. But what I never remembered her as, like, a rich person. I always thought, um... I always thought that house was Johnson's house. But it's been a while. You know, we're on season seven of Peep Show. I think I started season one, like, almost a year ago at this point. So, this is, uh... Some of the details of, like, how certain people are may escape me from time to time. But I, I for the life of me, I can't remember, ever remember Big Sue's being rich. She does talk like a rich person, though, so that should have 
That should have fucking gave it away right there, right? Okay, let's see if I can move it up a level. My hands are speaking sexy Esperanto. Hold on. Zara. Oh shit, it's the love of my life. Hey, Zara. Oh, Mark, could you get that? Fuck you. Of course. Great, thanks. <laughs> Sure, I'll get it, but the serfs are revolting. I'm storming out of the Winter Palace like the looniest Bolshevik Stubbs. in Petrograd. Stubbs. Stubbs. Mark. Oh, shit. Uh -oh. Of course. Went to get some more booze. We got waylaid, Alan. We thought we saw a badger and... It's okay, Mark. It's fine. I, I admit defeat. Sue's wins, okay? What? Isn't it like kryptonite? What, what, won't it kill you? I'm not going to drink it, Mark. I'll just take a sniff for old time's sake. Uh oh. Awful <laughs> you, asshole. Suze! <laughs> okay, let's roll. I just spoke to Zara. Ben tried it on with her. We're gonna pick her up. I need to take her somewhere cool. I think I have just the place. Right, let's do one. Some bloke just asked Yoko for a number and I pushed a fucking crayfish up his schnoz. Mm. Is there any more charter sauce? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm afraid I've left it all in George Osborne's ball sack. Tell you what, why don't you nip upstairs, wank him off, and dip it in that? Let's go before we get fired. So Ben, <laughs> let's go before we get fired. Yeah. Oh, this is a this is a great episode. Took me to this cloakroom to wait for the timeout guy, and we waited for ages. And then Ben tries it on with me. Oh, the shit! I'm so pissed off because now the timeout guy's going to arrive in the cloakroom, and I'm not going to be there. Would have been a fucking long wait. This is it. We actually heard a rumor that the monkeys might be playing. Isn't that right, Jeremy? Gorillas, Mark. Gorillas, not the monkeys. Jesus. Ticket? Uh, five tickets, please. The monkeys are <laughs> so fucking old. Are they even still around? Look, I mean, I just, I know like a couple songs of from the monkeys. Uh, great songs, by the way. I really, I, like, you might find this surprising, but I, the, I mean, the keys in the name, Boomer. But um, I really like old music, especially from the 60s and 70s, man. They just don't make music like that anymore. So I know the monkeys, but, you know, it's not like the, like, I know the stone, the Rolling Stones are like still playing, but the monkeys, I don't even know if those guys are still around or alive. Like, I don't know. So the fact that he thought maybe they were, play although this was probably made 10, 15 years ago at this point, so. I guess it's a possibility. Oh. The monkeys might be playing, isn't that right, Jeremy? Gorillas, Mark. Gorillas, not the monkeys. Jesus. Ticket? Uh, five tickets, please. Hello. Gerard. I'm oh, no. Tickets are only available in advance. For fuck's sake, Gandalf. It's not exactly the Viper Room. This is a private party for live action role players and affiliates of the International Fantasy Gaming Society. Come on, Gerard, it's me. I wish I could help, but I can't. It's fine by me. It's fine by him. My hands are tied. Close the gate, Raymond. The sickly prince has locked Dobby in his castle and the gate's guarded by his troll. How far down does this go, do you think? Can't be very far. She's here! Dobby! Maybe we should just accept defeat, resign ourselves to a bit of Jules Holland. No, not the Hootenanny. Never the Hootenanny. We're better than that. We are going to this party. Come on, Mark. Scrabble. Help me scrabble. It's not long till the bones. These are surprisingly effective sort of spade scrapers, aren't they? I know. Hey, Zara, try and find some tarpaulin or some rags to wrap yourself up in for when you want to scramble under. Do you really think Martin Ames is going to be here, Jez? He might pop in. That's what I heard. He might pop in. Shit. Oh, no. She's finger-blabbing. Her hands are singing like a canary. What are you doing? Uh, just, uh, just tunnelling in. You've been following me. Tracking and, and digging, like, like a faithful hound. I'm burying my dignity in this small hole. Do you want a hand? Oh, my God, she's smiling. She's giving me a hand. She's not shooting me with a sniper rifle. She's helping me tunnel to freedom and start a new life oh. in the West. Stop. Cease and desist. <laughs> you stay where you belong. Oh, don't be a dick. Gerard, let him in. Hey! Wait, Jen. What the fuck? Yoko says you were giving it all that at Big Susie. What? Jeremy, were you? God, no. It wasn't sex, you know, it was just 
sexy hand signals. Why were you giving her sexy hand signals? I... It was all a misunderstanding. I was in the kitchen and I might have done a... like that for OK, yeah, and then there were lots of little sausages around, so maybe I put the sausage in the OK to ask, would you like to put a sausage in your mouth? You mean, see, if she wanted to put a sausage in her mouth and then take it out and then put it back in again? Yeah! You know how I feel about her. You gotta fucking pay for this. But it's not my fault she doesn't speak English. Fuck! This kind of thing probably happens the whole time at the UN. See you later, Jeremy. But what, what about the bongs? What about the love nest? We're still OK for the love nest, yeah? It's not going to happen. It's a no. Oh, fuck, she's gone. My true love. My housing association. Look, <laughs> Dobby, I, I know... <laughs> Jer... Oh! Oh, my God, Jer... What was Jeremy thinking? He never thinks, does he? Tonight, I've been a real dick splash. Dick splash? It's not 1989, but I've had this mad idea, and I don't know, but I just wondered whether we might have a real mad one. You, me, and Noel Gallagher. If you... God, I feel stupid even saying this, but... moved in with me. What? You want to put your manimal in my flanimal? Yes, I do. On, on a long-term basis. Here we go. She's going to rip out my heart like in Temple of Doom. Fuck it. All right. She said yes. I'm moving in with Dobby. I'm king of the world. Must get some uh. towels. Standing in front of a thousand glory holes and no one but Raymond to suck me off. <laughs> Jess, really not that great in here, man. Y you all right? Where's Zara? Oh, she's gone. Yeah. I'm not going to be moving in with her. Oh, wow. No? No. Did Dobby say yes? Yeah. Yeah, Do Dobby said yes. Right. Look, I'm sure we can sort something out, make you a bit of a nest on, on the floor. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, c I could sleep under your desk. You could put your feet on me while you write your book. Could be fun, yeah, the three of us? Oh, I feel kind of yeah. sad now. This is this is kind of breaking my heart a little bit. I never thought I would get this soft for for Jez of all people. Ah, right. God, I'll never be shot of him. He doesn't want me. He wants to move on. Although, uh, actually, you know what? It's cool because um, there's somewhere else I can stay. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna move in with uh, Superhands. Yeah, I should have said uh, he asked me to move in with him, and uh, so everything's cool. Yeah, we're gonna have a mental blast. You know, and uh, he's got that spare sleeping bag. Yeah, hands his second bag. OK, well, if, if you're sure. I think it's time. If, if you insist. Look, I, I'd, I'd better... Yeah. This is sad. Is it going to be okay? He's going to be fine. He's moving into Super Hans's party pad. They're going to have the time of their lives. fucking things. Oh my god. Is he gonna be okay? He's gonna be <laughs> fine. He's moving into Super Hans's party pad. They're gonna have the time of their lives. <laughs> okay. Why did he hit him? I think that's just a thing they do <sighs> to see in the new year. Unbelievable. That's how it ends. End of season seven. Wow. Wow. Good God, that was fucking hilarious. I think that was my favorite episode of the entire season. I really do. That was awesome. Plus, you guys you guys know I love when Johnson shows up. It's my favorite peep show character ever. <clears throat> oh my god, getting the crap made out of you by the crack that crack addict. Crack! Uh, 
Good stuff, man. Wow. Now it's on to season eight. Can't believe it, man. We've been we've gone this far. When did I start Peep Show? It was almost a year ago at this point, wasn't it? Christ. It's uh but I must say. This this is in my top five of the shows I've reacted to so far. So you know, In Betweeners is one, Fa Father Ted's two. And uh Hmm. I must say, I'm really enjoying Plebs right now. So either Plebs or Peep Show is, is number three, probably. Actually, no, number four, because only Fools and Horses is number three. So, anyway. So, yeah, top five. in Inbetweeners, Father Ted, Peep Show, Plebs, and uh, only Fools and Horses. Not necessarily in that order. But, uh, man, I love it. I love it. You guys got some great television programs over there. And, you know, I think I've said this before, but, like, when I'm here in the States talking to my friends and they ask me about my YouTube uh, YouTube stuff, I'm like, yeah, I'm reacting to all these British shows. And they're like, oh, that's cool. And I'm like, yeah, but you don't understand. You have to check these out. And they're like, yeah, okay, maybe I will. And they never do. But I try, I like, try to, like, sit them down and be like, no, you don't understand. You have to check out these shows. Because I think comedy television at least here in the states is is after all this is seeing all this is, is uh television comedy here in the states is not near the level of the the uk it's just not film yes i believe so maybe not in the last few years but usually our f comedy films are just as good, good as yours but television no no, it doesn't come close. But uh, anyway, I digress. I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. Like, subscribe, do whatever you want. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. And have a great day today, Boomerites. Your king will miss you. Take care.